Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to view a summary of the Gatherer AI series. Let's begin. So the goal in this series is to make a gatherer unit with the AI to gather resources of various types and drop them off at a storage. The gatherer can be player controlled, but he also thinks for himself and looks for resources to gather. Then in the end, we will take everything and make a nice simple ecosystem where we gather resources to construct a tower, which in turn spawns a new gatherer that can gather more resources and so on. So first we're going to start with just one gatherer, a gold node and a storage. We're going to make the gatherer go towards the node, play a mining animation, go towards the storage and repeat. The gatherer will have a simple state machine to handle the logic of moving to a node, gathering resources and moving back to storage. Then we're going to take our code and add persistent resource tracking. So when the character drops gold into the storage, the amount will be tracked. The game resources class will be very simple and clean with easy ways to add and remove any gold amount. After that, we're going to create a resource node class to handle our objects instead of having our code based on transforms. This again will be a very simple class that keeps track of the resources in each node and provides a way to decouple our logic from the visual implementation. The node will change its visual if its internal resource amount is depleted. Then we're going to add player control to be able to command our gatherer. We're going to add the ability to capture clicks on the gold nodes and tell the gatherer to mine that particular node. Using the player control for a single gatherer, we're going to apply it to multiple gatherers. We're going to make it so we click on a gatherer to select him, which will visually show that he's the one selected. Then we're going to click on a node and the selected gatherer will head and mine that node. After that, we're going to add multiple resource types. So in addition to a gold node that can be mined for gold, we're going to add a tree that can be cut down for wood. The game resources and resource node classes will be set up in such a way that they can support any number of different resource types. Then we're going to set up resource regeneration. Instead of the node being depleted forever, we're going to set up two different regeneration methods. The node will regenerate a single amount after some time or fully regenerate after being completely depleted. And finally, when all that is done, we're going to put it all together into a nice complete ecosystem. We're going to set up tower construction, which takes some time to construct. In order to start construction, we first need to gather a certain amount of gold and wood. Then the tower is constructed, and when it's completed, it will spawn a brand new gatherer that we can control like any other. We will give that new gatherer the order to gather more resources, use those resources to construct another tower, which will spawn another gatherer, and so on. So that's the plan for the Gatherer AI series. It features some interesting logic and some nice clean code. It will start off pretty simple and ramp up in complexity until we have a nice complete minigame. So go watch the playlist and begin learning. As always, you can download the project files and utilities for each video in the series from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.